Hey kids, my name's Jacob, and I'm going to show you how to make this very simple battery operated motor. Look at that. Woo, spin, 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 spin. To make the motor, you need a few simple things. You need a piece of wood that's got a magnet glued in there, and it's got two very little holes drilled into the wood. We need two um, uprights to hold the rotor. The rotor is the part that spins. This orange thing, this round orange thing, is the part that spins. And we need to make the rotor from a 40 centimeter length of copper wire. And we'll need some battery leads and a battery, of course. We take out two rotor holders that I've made from a paper clip, and we need to push them and twist them into the wooden base. There we go, we push in the, and twist the rotor holders into the base like this. Push and twist, push and twist. They're pushed in and now they're firmly in place. Look at that. Yeah. I've got a little piece of pipe, but you could use a, a, a whiteboard marker or a round texter. And this is going to help us make the rotor by um, winding the wire around it. And so I have about ooh, five or six centimeters protruding. And then I go around with the wire, nice and tight, nice and tight, nice and firm. I'm wrapping it around until I've got about the same amount poking out on either side. Then I can take out the little pipe and there's my rotor, but it needs to be held in place. So what I need to do is I need to wrap the wire around the end of the wire just a few times to hold it in place. Now the wire is fairly stiff and when you bend it, it stays where it is. So that's very helpful. So there's one, there's one side. And then I need to do the same, but on the other side. So now I do the same on the other side, directly opposite the first side. So there we go. Look at that. I've made my rotor and it's almost ready to go into the motor, but I need to do something very important. I need to get some sandpaper and I need to sand the ends oh, of the wire, the wire that pokes out. That's because the wire has actually got a plastic coating on it and that's an insulator which stops the electricity from flowing. And so I need to remove that plastic coating with the sandpaper. So I put the sandpaper over it and then I squeeze with my fingers and then I pull it through. And that process removes the plastic. Then, I make sure it's nice and straight. I pop it into the um, rotor holders. Have to do a little bit of bending to get it in there, but that's okay because everything sort of bends back a little bit. And I need to like bend it a little bit straight now. What's very important is that it spins easily even when there's no electricity. Then on one side, I connect the red wire. Now it doesn't really, I don't think it matters what side the red wire goes or the black wire goes. Then I pop it on the other side. So there we go, in we go with that one, through the little hole. So now the electricity can travel through the rotor. Now add my electricity and, give it a little spin, and look at that, <laughs> look at that, a spinning motor. The reason it works is because the moving electricity experiences a force in the magnetic field. Woo! Simple, direct current battery motor. <laughs>